Well, I held my first poll on Facebook.com slash Engineering Explained to see what you guys would like to see next. Um, of the six options I had, you guys probably chose the most boring one, but that's alright. So we're going to get into front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. So front wheel drive, what we've got going on is here's looking down on the front of the car and here's the engine. So the car is going to be going that direction. Um, and we're going to be looking down. So you've got your engine here, you've got your clutch or tor torque converter, depending on if it's an automatic or manual. You've got your transaxle. Now, it's called a transaxle because it's a transmission and it's the front axle kind of connected into one piece. So, and then, so you're going to have your torque go from your engine through your clutch or torque converter to your transmission. So it's going to rotate a shaft, that shaft will rotate a counter shaft, that counter shaft will be connected to a, uh, it'll be either a differential or some sort of, it's a, another gear that's going to go um, to the, the front drive shaft and so that will connect to two constant velocity joints or CV joints. Now these CV joints you can move them up or down like the, the tire can move up or down and the velocity of this rotating shaft will be the same as this rotating differential. And so that'll go to both wheels and then you'll have your front tire spinning. So that's pretty straightforward and that's the way that a lot of front wheel drive cars do it. Um, certainly how mine does it. Uh, and this is just with a basic four cylinder front engine um, front wheel drive car. Now for some of the advantages and disadvantages um, one of the main advantages is that it's compact, so you just have a small space that you can fit this in. Also, with the transverse engine, you can keep the front of the car shorter, uh, so you can keep the car smaller. Um, also, driving wheels have the most weight, so all the weight is on top of those front two tires. Well, not all the weight, but the majority of it, because the engine's right there, resting on it. So they're going to have a lot of traction when you're driving, uh, which is good since they're the driving wheels. Um, thrust is in your intended direction of driving. So one of the things that's pretty cool about front wheel drive cars is say you turn these wheels, well the force you're putting down on the ground is going in the direction that you're, is the opposite direction of what you turned. So it's pushing you away from that direction. Whereas in a rear wheel drive car, you're going to have your wheels turned, but your back wheels are going to be driving you, so you're gonna, they're going to push you forward and then you're going to have to counteract that forward force with your front tires to make you turn. Whereas a front wheel drive car, you're automatically making yourself go that direction. That's the direction of the thrust. Um, also, you can save a little bit of weight with the front wheel drive cars typically because you won't have that drive shaft going to the back and you don't have the complicated rear axle, so you can save a little bit of weight. There are some disadvantages. Uh, torque steer, that's a big one in uh, if you have higher powered engines where the car will tend to go to one direction or the other. Um, depending on your layout and so that's one thing under heavy acceleration that is um, also a loss of grip under heavy acceleration this is because your weight transfers to the back as you accelerate so you're going to lift up those front tires lift the weight off of them and they're not going to have quite as much traction finally um, uneven tire wear and the reason I mention this is because the front tires in a front wheel drive car do everything they do the most of the braking they do the steering and they do the accelerating whereas all the rear tires do is some of the braking so they're not going to have much wear at all whereas the front tires are going to wear fairly quickly I just kind of wanted to show how this worked on my car here so that's a front wheel drive car so here's the front tire we're going to go from the center of that up and you can see the engine is to the right of that so look here at the engine and that's going to be connected to the transmission so we're going to have our clutch and all our gears inside there and then if we follow this back to see where it connects to the tire you can see there is the constant velocity joint that will be sending power to the front right tire